or Rishi Sunak? Why do you think Rishi's the man? Yeah, well, I think Rishi is the best candidate because he's got the economic uh, track record. And uh, given the economic issues that are coming up, uh, particularly coming up right now with things like energy prices and inflation, um, but also Rishi is, in my opinion, the one who polls the best with the general public in terms of like winning the next general election against Keir Starmer, Labour, the Lib Dems, the SNP, you know, all of these things. I think Rishi is best placed to win that election. He's also best placed to be our prime minister for the coming years. I want to talk a little bit about polling. I mean, it's all over the place, isn't it, frankly, when you look at different polling sources. But I'm always interested in looking at Con Home because that tends to be people who are conservative minded, conservative members. And the runoff polling for if Rishi were to make the final two against other candidates hasn't been great. What do you make of that? Well, I think the Con Home panel, of course, is, is a slightly self selecting panel. When you look at the polls, like um, the actual polls, like weighted polls of conservative members, Rishi does very well. When you look at floating voters and those who are likely to vote Conservative, Rishi does overwhelmingly the best. Uh, the JL Partners poll yesterday uh, of all of the Conservative-held seats showed that Rishi was the best choice for Prime Minister in 76% of those seats. So three quarters of Conservative-held seats uh, right the way across uh, the southwest of England, right the way across um, the east of England, big parts of the north and the Midlands into Wales. You know, Rishi was the best choice uh, in 76% of Conservative held seats. Greg, it's one of the problems for you. We were talking about it at the top of the show. The fact that the candidates are to a certain degree conflicted in the sense that they're trying to play to two audiences. There's the, there's the internal Conservative Party membership. And I think that's probably why some of the candidates are coming out with this very sort of Thatcherite, low tax, low regulation, get the state out of people's lives agenda. But actually, if you look at the people you need to, to, to keep hold of in the country, it's red wall vote voters in constituencies like Vienna who have very little sympathy with that agenda and actually want the state to intervene to improve their lives and communities. That, that's a problem for you, isn't it? Any candidate appealing to those two audiences. Well, I think you've got to, I mean, ultimately... Um, to win, you've got to appeal to all three. You've got to appeal to your MP colleagues. You've got to appeal to conservative voters or people likely to be conservative voters. And you've got to appeal to floating voters. Uh, and in my opinion, Rishi Sunak is the one who does all three. He's ahead on MPs. He's ahead amongst uh, people who are likely or considering voting conservative in the next election. As a 76% of those conservative held seats rate Rishi Sunak as being the best choice for Prime Minister. So I think Rishi Sunak actually wins on all three.